Meet Anthony Verite, or better known as the Stone Stockman. The Stone Stockman usually performs in the Burke Street Mall in the city of Melbourne and has been performing there for many, many years. I recall seeing him there over 10 years ago and any time I've gone into the city, I've seen him there performing. He's called the Stone Stockman as the coats that he and his dummies wear are called Stockman coats, which are a type of wet weather coat that a person might wear on an Australian farm. And the coats have a cement-like material smeared over them to give the impression that they are made out of stone. He has changed and enhanced his act over the years, from originally standing around alone to then adding four statues standing around him. And now he has added another statue and a horse's head. Go figure. Now originally his act was all about standing still like a stone statue and after he added the four dummies standing around him he started adding small animations like swiveling and tilting his head or controlling one of the dummies and moving their heads which always kept the viewing audience and passers-by wondering how many are real and which was the real one. And when I filmed him for this video, he seems to have added a variety of new animations, such as squirting a small fountain of water whenever you donate money, blowing a puff of flowery smoke, magically making a flower appear for the girls, or giving the boys a fist bump. The Burke Street Mall is well known as a place to see buskers and street performances by many different acts and people. But regardless of the acts that come and go, one thing that you can be sure of, on almost any day of the week, any time of the year, you can almost be guaranteed to see the Stone Stockman performing. And like I said, he has been doing this for probably 10 to 20 years, or at least as long as I can recall. The Stone Stockman are almost an iconic street performance that you can't pass up seeing when visiting Melbourne. The act is so popular with passers-by that people block off half the mall to watch his act and take photos of him. The hat that he places at his feet for donations is usually filled literally to the brim with coins and notes because he is so popular. At least much more than any other street performer that I have seen. But the one question I keep asking myself every time I see him is how does he set up his act every day? You are not allowed to drive down the mall. So it's not like you can unload the dummies from a truck, then go park the truck somewhere. I think he must have an agreement with one of the big department stores close by, that he can store his gear there overnight and pull it out every day or as needed. But that part always leaves me wondering. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.